Praise is a spiritual weapon. We don't wage war as the world does. What's the world do? Gripe? Complain? What's the world do? Turn to drugs? Alcohol? Sex? Oh, man, I came out of this relationship. I'm heartbroken. I got an idea. I'll go into another really stupid relationship. Well, they don't love God, but I'm on a Christian missionary dating evangelist like I'm gonna win them to the Lord Jesus Christ. No, you're not. They gonna win you over to the devil. That's what's gonna happen. Like, like we, we don't wage war as the world does. Remember Gideon? Gideon and the Israelites and they were living under the oppression of the Midianites and an angel shows up. Gideon's just out doing his thing, man. He's out working. He's threshing wheat in the middle of the field. And an angel shows up. Angel shows up. I think that would be cool, man. I was like, any angels want to show up, I'm ready. Show up. I got some people I need some angels to show up to. I got some people in my life. I said, angels, do your thing, man. Show up. And he's out there doing his, he's just doing what he does. He's threshing we, and the angel shows up, and the angel says, Gideon, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Gideon, man, he like, yo, man, you know, listen, I think God put the wrong address in your Google Maps, man. I'm not the right Gideon. There's another Gideon three houses down. That's probably the Gideon you're looking for. No, you're the right Gideon, mighty warrior, I'm not a mighty warrior. I'm not even a warrior. And I'm definitely not mighty. I'm not a mighty, I've never fought in a battle. I've never even fought, let alone you want me to lead fighters to fight? No, I, no, I'm not, yes, you're the right guy, mighty warrior. You're the right guy. Gideon's like, I'm the wrong, I'm, are you sure? Like, I, I'm the least of my family, and my family is the least of all the families. You ever felt like that? Unprepared, unqualified, like God, you got, you got the, the wrong person. Maybe you feel like this today, like you're, you're up against the fight of your life. You're like Gideon. God, I could never fight a battle like this. God, I can't do this. Listen, God will never call you to a fight that he did not prepare you to win. God will never call you to a fight that he did not prepare you to win. Gideon, he, be, he becomes the leader, and the Bible says he, he gets down to three, he's got 300 men versus 135,000 men. Did you guys hear that? It's 300 verse 135,000. The odds are 450 to one. And y'all know the story, Gideon and the Israelites went on to win that battle. If you don't know the story, you should read it because they did it in a God-sized, God-shaped fashion. But one thing I know about this, I've learned in my own life that the odds might be stacked against me, but you plus God is always a majority. You plus God is always a majority because we don't wage war as the world does. Second Corinthians, I want to read it again. Look at it again with me. Verse three through five, it says, for we live in the world, but we don't wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive, somebody say take captive. We take captive every thought and we make it obedient to Christ. Take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. Take captive. Today for the next few minutes, I wanna talk about winning the battle of the mind. Winning. How many are tired of losing the battle of the mind? I, I, I wanna talk about winning the battle of the mind. Winning the battle. He says, take every captive 
thought. Let's say it again. Ready? Take every captive thought and make it obedient to Christ. I'm going to take every thought, not some of my thoughts, not certain thoughts, not some thoughts. I'm going to take every thought captive. The, the Greek word for captive here, it, it means to control. It means to conquer. It means to bring into submission. I'm going to take every thought captive and make it submit to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, to watch the full sermon and stay up on all of our latest content, be sure to subscribe to our channel.